So if you think back to some of the very earliest select statements that we created, we started by creating some select statements whereby the output was a single number. Now it's not necessarily the case that we need to just output that one number and then start a new select for the next part of the process that we want to do. We can feed that first number into a second select, which will allow us to create more complex queries. And we can do this in a couple of different ways. The most common way to use it is to use it as part of the where clause, so that the data that we do output is as close as possible to what we actually want. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a query which is going to return a list to us of every member of staff whose salary plus commission, their actual take home pay, is below the average for the entire company. So if we start off by first trying to find out what the average salary is, we would probably do a select statement. Something like this. Now we've used this statement in the past, but I'm just going to introduce another function here, which is if null. The actual values within the staff table contain null values. And we want to actually transform those values into zeros so that our average is not thrown out as much. We need to also spell commission correctly. We will get the actual average which accounts for the null values and it sets those values to zero. And this way we're able to include all of the data rather than just the data for the people who have both salary and commission. The previous version of this statement basically would say if the member of staff didn't have both a salary and a commission then it wouldn't be included in the calculation at all. So as I say we're able to instead of just outputting this data we're able to feed this back into another select statement. And we're going to select where the employee's salary is less than. And then we're going to put this entire statement in brackets. And this is known as nesting queries. So if we run this now, it's going to output everyone whose salary is less than the average. Now we actually want to include the entire salary plus commission. So we're going to update that and rerun the query. And you can see that now we're getting these instances where the commission is null as well as the being a salary. Now the other way to use nesting is to have many different select statements as the actual outputs, as the actual fields names. So if we delete all of this, we could select the maximum salary from the member of staff table. So. And this will give us the maximum salary, which happens to be that of the president. And we can copy this statement and we can select the minimum salary, which is just by changing this. And so this is now giving us the maximum and the minimum. If we wanted to use these values to find the range, we can subtract one from the other. And to do this, we're going to create a third select statement. And as you can see, this is starting to get quite confusing. So I'm going to start to put this onto multiple lines as well now. And 
and this is all going to be inside of one big select statement. So this is going to give us the actual range. We just need to limit this to the one record just because we're getting so many output because it was performing that query for each individual within the table and so at the moment we've got three separate outputs so we just rename them so that they make more sense So we get the correct titles. Now we can put all of these in one big select statement. We should have left those selects there. And we should also move these names outside. And of course we don't need this extra select. Nor do we need this extra detail here. This should in fact go outside of the range. So now we've got our three outputs in one table. So if you were to create some sort of dashboard for example for your company you may want to create dynamic values like this to actually display on that dashboard and it's just a matter of creating a SQL query which actually gets all of the data for you so that that data is accessible to you in an understandable format.